Why women? <laughs> Why did God plan it or choose women for the resurrection uh, to be told first? You know, the angels and all. And then uh, we're getting into those stories. We already mentioned them so far. But why women? And there were six of them, at least. Could have been others. Um, six women could have been others. I've already named them in another video, like about three or four videos back, I think. Um, but yeah, why you guys? Or not guys, girls, gals. <laughs> All right, so this is really cool. Um, I'm going to suggest the, some reasons here. And whether it's true or not, you know, I don't know. God knows why he did it. But I have some uh, reasons that I kind of wrote down here. And I think they could be, some of them could be right. Could have been more than one. And it also could be none of them. God's just chuckling up in heaven saying, nope, that's not why. None of them, Gordon. None of them. I like to think. Don't you like to think? You need to contemplate. You need to concentrate. You need to think. You need to imagine. And uh, it's kind of cool. So uh, why women? Maybe, see, maybe, here's why, why women. Maybe uh, he was honoring the lower class. Now, women are equal with, with men, period. I mean, the Bible's very clear on that. Galatians chapter 3, verse 28 says, male, it says, neither male nor female. In other words, all are one, he goes on and says. So it's neither one of us more important than the other. Very important. But when I say lower class, I mean, in that age and time, 2,000 years ago, and in certain parts of the world today, women are considered not as important. That's a bunch of bunk and rubbish and garbage. Females are extremely important to God and as important as men. But in that day, they weren't considered as important, and therefore they're witnessing uh, of a test of a, in a testimony, a court case. They wouldn't even listen to them, and they didn't. They weren't allowed to testify. So God said, "Okay, um, you guys consider them less less than. I'm going to go ahead and honor them, and He chooses them instead." That is very typical of God, see. Through the whole Bible, he tends to do that. I'll just name a couple of cases. Shaul, or Saul, in the Old Testament, the king, he, he, didn't, he, he didn't think himself worthy. He saw himself as small in his own eyes. And even though he's taller than everyone, he felt like he was smaller than everyone. God chose him to be the king. Oh, there's many of these, by the way, a lot. I'll just name a couple others. Another one would be David. You know, he was the eighth son of Jesse. And, uh, and so, anyway, so um, he was chosen instead of the elder, all these others. God tends to do that with a lot of the, uh, the brothers. He chooses the, the um, younger one, no, the older one to serve the younger, which it typically is the other. He does that a lot. He chooses his second person. Um, he chooses Bethlehem as a, in Micah 5 2, you're the least of all the towns and villages. God chose that one. He chooses Nazareth for Jesus to rise up with. And, and it's hardly, I mean, it's hardly anything of a town. Um, it's suggested by some archaeologists that there's 175 to 200 people in that town. Why didn't he choose Jerusalem, big old Jerusalem? He chose Nazareth, which isn't very, which isn't very important. It very much definitely was important for Jesus Christ to be raised there. But he chose that one. Nathaniel said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Uh, that could have been a popular proverb at that time, or maybe he really did feel that way or something. Um, or, uh, you know, the other thing is not even written in hardly any, any ever, except for one guy, Josephus, maybe mentioned a little bit, but any historical documents way back, ancient documents, he's not even mentioned. It's very obscure, little, no, nobody's town. Like, who knows about Nazareth? And he chose that town. All right. Um, and, of course, God also does things like uh, it's the shoot of Jesse that Isaiah mentions. Is that Greek word is Nazod, which could be Nazareth. It could be thought of that. That's why he chose that also. But honoring the lower class, he, chins, he tends to choose the underdog, the people that uh, don't feel that important. So if you feel like I'm just kind of a nobody or I'm not that, I don't, I don't have any talents, I'm not that good at anything, 
you are a candidate for God to choose you and honor you in some way. Just go to God and say, here I am. Mary, there's all the people in the Old Testament and New, like I think of Miriam, and they, he chose a poor couple, Joseph and Mir Mary, uh, Yosef and Miriam, to be the couple that raises up Jesus. They were poor. I mean, it goes on and on. <laughs> all right, so that's a whole message. That could be a whole metal sermon. This one, uh, maybe to help establish the truth as witnesses. Like I've said before, it seems like he chose them on per the women so that when the men had to write about them being the first, it, you wouldn't make up a story, a fairy tale. If you're making up this thing about Jesus being from the dead, you would say men saw him and all that. But the fact is women did it and they had to write it whether they were embarrassed or not. That was the truth. They told the truth. That's another reason why I believe in these apostles, that they're honest people. They weren't making up anything because they really told the truth about it, even about themselves, all their unbelief and everything else. So cool. So that could be he chose women to do that so that he could actually flip the coin and establish the truth as from these witnesses, these women. Cool stuff. Three, they were at the cross and now at the tomb. Where were the disciples? <laughs> Where were the apostles of Jesus who the night before they said, we'll never forsake you, we'll die with you. They weren't even at the cross looking at this thing. At least it's not recorded. So the women were. Sure, they were distant from it. They were kind of far away watching it. I don't know how far, but they could see and hear and all. I guess they could hear. But at least they were close enough. I mean, God maybe, 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 this is a maybe here. He maybe honored their faith or their coming closer, he said, I'm going to choose them. Skip the apostles. <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyway, God does as he pleases. Number four, and this, this might be not at all it, but maybe this is really the reason. They happen to be there. And that when the angel came and talked to him, which we'll get to uh, in the next, probably next video, they were there. They were more available. They were the ones. So it wasn't because of this or this or this or this. Maybe it's a combination of things. But they happened to be the ones that come where the angels were, where Jesus was hanging out. He was around that tomb area because he'll, he'll appear pretty soon to these women right there. So they were there, more available. Maybe he would have done the same with children or men. What if kids were the ones that kind of be, they were playing around and they came by the tomb and angel came and said, hey, kids, come here. <laughs> And he told them about Jesus. He's, he's really rose from the dead. Now, remember, go, you remember the fishermen? Remember the tax collector? And you happen to know them? Go find them. And uh, in, they're probably in Bethany over here or something. Or maybe in Jerusalem in an upper room for a while. You know, they were hiding the disciples at this point because they thought, oh, they killed him. They're going to kill us next. And he said, maybe it was children. He could have chosen just little kids. Hey, why don't you go tell the these apostles of Jesus. You got to get parents of permission, but make sure you get the word to them that I'm alive. Or that the angel could have said, he's alive, he's risen, he's no longer here. Excuse me. So that's good. Or he could have had the men do it. He could have, the men may have checked on the tomb and all, that they stayed away from that because they didn't want to get caught or something around that area or around there because they could have locked them up, arrested them. So it might have nothing to do with any of it, and they just kind of happen to be the ones there. You're, de you're at the right place at the right time. Now, I would like to say this. I want to challenge you at the end here, that you need to hang around Jesus. And they came close to the tomb of Jesus, came as close as they could. They wanted to go in there. They happened to be there. And if you happen to come after Jesus and you have to seek him, and you, like they were seeking for the body of Jesus, they were going to go and help him. You need to do that because when you're there, God will be there. In other words, you come after God, God will come after you. And the Bible says, draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. So be there at the, at the right place with Jesus. Go after him and he will appear and work in your life. He did it in mine. God bless you.